This is Kathy from Gadgets Top 321 and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at my currently inked pens. I'm going to do a writing sample in one of the notebooks that my sister got me for Christmas and I'm going to begin with an update on my little ink agitators these little ball bearings that I'm testing. I've had both of these in vials of Chiku Rin for three weeks and this is the little I believe this is a 1.5 millimeter. This is the one that was labeled as chrome steel and I'm seeing no signs of pitting or rust so that's good. And then I got a higher quality 3 millimeter ball bearing that is a higher quality actual stainless steel. I think it was 316 and it also is showing no signs of pitting or rust. So I would have no problems using either of these as ink agitators in a converter when I come across an ink that is getting stuck in the back of the converter and needs something to knock it loose. But the ink I have in my AL Sport now hasn't needed it. I've got Van Diemen's Rhubarb Crumble and I switched from the little squeeze converter back to the regular mini Caveco converter and you can see rhubarb crumble flows nicely. I've been using it for a few days so far and I've enjoyed it, had no problems. It just starts right up every time. And I'm using the medium steel nib this time. And in my Pilot Legno, I've got it inked up with Sailor Manyo Ukikuzu and I just inked it up today and you can see it also is not sticking but this little Pilot Con 40 has the little ink agitators in it so shouldn't be an issue. All right I am anxious to test one of my little notebooks. My sister was so excited when she got these for me for Christmas and I'm usually or at least since I've started the fountain pen hobby I've gotten over being precious about my notebooks. I'm not scared to start a new one uh, but with these it's been since Christmas I've had them and I've just been a little reluctant to start one. I've got an engineering notebook and it has schematics for a phaser and a tricorder. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And it has graph paper and it's pocket size. And I guess with this being a pocket size notebook, in my head I just imagine the paper quality being like a field notes notebook. Oh, and it's got some quotes from engineers. Cool. The old style phaser from the original series. Starfleet communicator. And tricorder. Alright. So the front, the bottom of the page says project, project lead, date, scale, description, and it's graph paper. And on the back, the little Starfleet in insignia. And the paper feels like it's going to be pretty porous. I've got an A5 and a pocket size captain's vlog book and they appear to have the same interior. So I'll open up the pocket size. Alright. Stardate, location. It's supplemental on the other side. Cool. I like that. And space distance conversions. That's pretty cool. And it's got the early Federation timeline. And I like these quotes from the captains. All right. Let's do a writing sample in here. Okay. This paper feels like the um, same paper that was in the engineer's book. These covers are heavier than the covers that you see on field notes, notebooks. All right. I think my sister got this off of Amazon. She was so excited when she found them. She's a Star Wars fan and me and my family are Star Trek. Okay, I'm starting out with the Caveco AL Sport 
with Van Diemen's Rhubarb Crumble. Oh yeah, it's very absorbent. Ugh, I'm curious to see if this bled through. But I want to do my writing sample with the Pilot Legno first. I'm not liking this Pilot Legno on this paper. It's not feeling very smooth. Oh, I'm not liking this at all. Let's see. Yeah, the side strokes are unpleasant. All right. I have already done a writing test of the pilot on Rhodia with this ink and it was pretty pleasant and also on some ARC notebook paper because I'm thinking about using these two pens in an ARC notebook for some notes and they were pleasant enough but this ink does tend to feel a little dry on some papers. All right let's see if it bled through. I do like the way these two inks look together. Very springy. Ah, oh, nice. Didn't bleed through. The paper is decently heavy. Nice. Well, that's, that's a good sign. All right. I'm happy with that. Now, the good thing about having these little flaps like this is maybe I can use it for a bookmark. Oh no, that doesn't quite work. But I do like all the clever stuff they put in these notebooks. I think I looked it up to see if there were any other styles of notebooks. And these three seem to be all that are still on Amazon. So I guess that's all they had originally. And these notebooks are made by the Unemployed Philosophers Guild. I think they have clever little mugs and stuff like that. And the pocket notebooks, I think, were 5 to $6. And the A5 size notebook was somewhere between 8 and $9. So at least with um, the two pens and ink combinations that I tried, I don't know if, you know, a wetter ink would bleed through. But this... These are my typical types of pens that I use. And it is a decently heavy paper. So, all right. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.